What is up guys and welcome back to another episode on the Deathcraft Vanilla server. Today we're in a desert and an ocean and an ocean temple that XB and Brink found and XB looted and killed the guardians and I think him and DPG have been collecting sand. I've also collected a bunch of sand and I've dropped it off in this chest here. And we have to, I'm not sure how the farm is going to actually work. Like I know a couple of designs, but XB has gone in and he's cleared out a quarter of it. He's digging it away at the moment. Oh goodness, where are they? When you hear that sound, you have to run. Um, I am putting my edge. I, I've claimed this quarter. I'm not claiming it for myself. I'm just, I'm going to help out. So this is the, this is the quarter I'm going to dig out. Um, and I'm doing it one more wide. Like I know it's, I know it's 24 or 23 each side. Oh, shush, guys. Thank you. Um, that's better. So I'm doing, oh, there they are. I'm doing mine one wider so we can actually have some sort of fancy wall. If we choose to keep the wall, we might make it glass, I don't know. But yeah, what we're doing, what I'm doing, I'm going to make um, four wide sand all the way down and clear out uh, them in, in slots of two. So once I get to the end there, I'll get my shovel and I'll dig out this bit like so. I'll dig that all the way down to the ground and then I'll just keep doing the layers. So yeah, I only have about four stacks times that of sand. I don't want to use because um, I think, yeah, they've been collecting sand. I don't want to use their sand. So yeah, I'm going to dig this out um, and I'll be right back maybe. <laughs> I don't know how long it's going to take. This might be cut back in a few hours, might be cut back tomorrow. But I'll see you guys when, when this is done. I thought I'd bring you back because I just had an idea. I've been digging this out with my diamond shovel and I was thinking I'm going to have to repair this like at least 10 times if I want to dig out this whole area. So I was thinking, I'm not sure if XP did this, that I will... Oh, bye crit. We, we can get down to the bottom without lag. Find the last sand. Where is it? Oh, we're here, but it's not here. Come on. Here we go. Okay, so we're here. Okay. So what we want to do now is all I have to do is just run along and place torches. Yeah. Much faster. And I save so much of my shovel. Efficiency. Hey, guy. Yeah, this is so much easier. Once you get one row done, it's just bam, 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 bam. Oh, I'm going to get this done in no time. I don't know what it is. It's just so satisfying every time. Oh, all the sand. So it's the next day. And we're out of sand. Um, I've got a bit in my inventory. I've gathered a bit more from not that desert. Someone's been gathering sand from that desert. I'm not sure if we've agreed to do that, but but we've got a nether portal. I've made a nether portal anyway, so we don't have to run back. This leads to the village, and I'll give you an update on my quarter. Oh, if we can get up. Okay, so I've dug down to where the prismarine stops. I think their spawn level is like 43, but I've dug in down way past 43, because the bottom of the temple is right here at 39, but the prismarine blocks stop. Why? What? They went down a bit further, about 35, 34. I think it's just where they touch the gravel. I'm not sure I should be digging down this far, but this is where the temple ends. Uh, let's fill that in. Let's waste some of the sand I just collected. And we'll go up. I've just... I think I don't need to collect any more sand. I just need to do it in sections like I did with this section and this section. Uh, let's go back up to the top. And I'll show you what I've done today. And then we'll have a look. What else has been updated. Uh, I don't think... 
Nope, this hole hasn't been updated yet. Someone started on this side. They had a sand tower up to that level, so I, I stole a bit of sand from here as well. But yeah, they look like it goes all the way down to the temple floor. So what I've done so far is I've filled, filled this bit in. So I'm going to be digging out probably this bit here and all of that. With the torches, of course, because I don't want to waste my shovel durability. Um, what else has been updated? I'm not sure. Let's go over and show how much prismarine we've got so far. Like, there's no point in, like, trying to get first dibs on the temple prismarine, because the, the purpose of the spawner is to get prismarine and XP. So there's no point in fussing, like, trying to steal all the prismarine bricks. Um, I just added to this just here. Uh, we got prismarine bricks, prismarine, dark prismarine, and one, two, three, four, five. Oh, shut up, nether portal. And I believe, I'm not sure which the recipe is. Where is it? There. Is it one, two, three, four? I think it's this recipe, I'm not sure. Nope. Um, is it like so? Nope. Um, it might be prismarine bricks. Let's have a look with prismarine bricks. Nope. Oh, what is it then? I have no idea. You can't even craft it. You need the prismarine shards, which you get from the fishy fishies over there. So we won't even make those. Yet. So I'm going to keep digging out this hole. This is the next day. Oh, goodness. Um... Most of the guys have been a bit, not negative, but been like, this is such a huge task. And XB has done quite a good job on it, and I think I've done quite a good job on it, but it's a lot of time. Um, this has probably taken a total of four hours, four to five hours, just to do this bit and fill in the sand and collect the sand. And it's going to take me probably another half an hour to clear out this bit of sand. Because there's one problem with filling it in with sand. And I'll show you right now. These blocks here. The solid blocks. So you'll come over here. And you can hear the guys in the temple. Uh, yeah. That's the problem. Is there's water underneath the blocks. There you go. We can get a shard. Ew. No. No. Wow. Well. They have thorns. I think if, you, if you're hitting them while you're looking at them, they give you thorns. Yeah, see, look. Wait, did I have a crystal? Did they drop a... Yeah, they dropped crystals and shards. Let's drop that here. But yeah, that's one of the one of the downfalls to clearing up this temple. That's making it a very slow process. So, yeah, I'm going to get back to digging. Hop. Oh. Okay. I am over this place for the day. Let's go work on the interior of our house because last episode we got the shell complete and I got the rest of the, com um, the shell complete off camera. So, let's go have a look. We'll go down the tunnel. Actually, let's try something. Um, stats. Blocks placed... Six <laughs> so far we placed over 16,000 sand. I've mined uh, probably about 500 that's mine, and I've replaced it over and over again. So that you can see how many times I've moved my whole sand block over. 16,000 sand. Yeah, I've also placed 1,800 torches. Wow. <laughs> I'll meet you guys over at the, at the spawn village. So, that looks pretty cool, right? Oh, it doesn't rain a savannah. Nice. That's always an upside. It's raining, but it's not raining. So yeah, I I did the, a little design on the underside. That's what I've I've stuck with for the time being. And now I've got sand to pillar up. We don't have cobble anymore. Nice. I have to remember we pillar it up last time. Is it here? Yeah, I remember. So let's go up. Um, one thing that didn't work out. One thing that didn't work out as well as I thought last time is the view. The view is pretty crappy from inside. Oh, goodness, almost fell off. So you take about 30 blocks to get up. We're inside. 
and this is what it looks like from inside. You can't really see much. Can't really see outside. There's, I think there's cat dog. Uh, there is, there's crit. Shillam's just up there. Hexby's over there. Did I see something new? No, there's a bridge. Uh, Chris Lights is behind this mountain here. Who else am I missing? Um, DPG is in the village still. Um, I think that's everyone. I'm probably missing someone important. So yeah, um, this floor we're going to keep. Um, oh, wait, is this part of the floor? No. Okay, we can remove this, nice. Oh no, wait. Okay, I have to add. I have to add something into there. That's a bit dangerous. So, yeah. I'm going to get the interior um, workable, and then we'll start on the house. Okay, so the floors for the house are done. Um, in the nether right now, I moved Brink's portal down because his was stuck in the ceiling. He couldn't get his portal to work, so I stuck it in the place where it would work. I gave him a little barrier so it doesn't run off into the big lava pool when he comes into the nether. But I was inspired to make a certain entrance into my base. I knew I wanted some sort of hanging towers, or like hanging platforms. So we're going to go get some supplies. If it's a, a bug with a snapshot is every time you go through a nether portal you drop through the ground. So you just have to give it a minute. Uh, we want some stone, just in case you want to use that. And I know I have some andesite around here. Check this out. It's my second ever fish. Smite four feather falling for. Fishing for the win. Okay, and a sight. We need a bit more than that. We need at least a stack. Polished. Eh. We'll get some on the way. Um, what else do I need? I need to go mine some obsidian. And I know what level am I at? I am at 27. And I need a water bucket too. So Dang it. My fishing hole is good for something. We'll go get a couple water buckets. I need to go get some obsidian and then we will make a portal. Oh hey, look, there's some andesite. <laughs> this um this platform I towered up. Because I was exploring this place and I lit up all of the rooms and then all of a sudden zombies started pouring out from behind here, and that's how I found the first zombie spawner. That's the story behind this pillar. They kept me out and I just pillared up with the blocks in my hand to get away from them. So we just destroyed a bit of memorabilia for the Deathcraft server. Oh well. I'll see you guys in the nether when we have when we're ready to link our portals up. Uh oh. That's not good. Okay, so it turns out uh Brink has some stuff going on up there and I didn't realize. I thought he was having trouble with the portal but he was just like no I'm happy with my little tunnel up there so um, he's up this ladder and I moved his portal back and I set up my portal and I set up like temporary wait let's do something before we go through I want to craft something oh no there goes all my food oh, can we chuck, we'll chuck this here crafting table for days. Uh, we want to use all of the all the sticks, we want all of the fences. That's not going to be enough. We'll make some more. What I want to do... Oh, wow. You guys just saw that. Dang it. Oh, well, we got crafting tables now. I guess. Do we need wood for anything? No. Okay. Man. That, that was quite funny, I guess. So, a stack of fences. I haven't actually tested this out, and it looks really, um, really shabby right now. So there is my spawner base. Here is my normal base. Let us fill in this little hole, because Brink's puddle is right here as well. And this should lead, should lead to the mountain base. Or the chandelier hanging base. Come on. Come on! Yes! Perfect. I love this base too, because it's just like every time you come to the base, you don't know if you're going to die or not by falling all the way down there. Um, so, the idea I had 
Hopefully I don't die in this recording. That would be the best way to show off the danger of this bridge. So what I want to do is I want to do this with every single one. I'm not sure whether to place them in the corners, like so. How does that look? Oh. Okay, that looks alright. And then here we can have it like in that corner and that corner. We can't reach. So yeah, I'll just place these and we'll see how it looks. Okay, also, <laughs> uh, the bridge is done. I haven't shown you guys inside. So this is the, the final shell. Um, how I'm going to do this base is nothing's going to be on the windows. It's all going to be around the central pipe or central pillar. Like all the furnaces, all the chests will be, I think, on the bottom floor here. Like all the storage. Then we will come up here. And this is the second floor. And this will be our hangout area, I guess. I put half slabs because you can work with half slabs because then you can have like I don't know you can have like high floors you can have low floors I don't know <laughs> it just worked out to be half slabs so we're gonna have that but yeah here's the bridge um, I might might throw some cobblestone walls in here like maybe like this oh yeah crit <laughs> uh, 20 diamonds he just tried to swim in lava and he rage quit so is only me and Chillamon right now how does that look yeah and then this one will be like there that'll look cool yeah that looks alright I reckon we need another one there maybe just spotting them randomly just like it looks like maybe it's a rope and then something tied around the rope to secure it. oh no feather falling for the win dang it well since we're down here let's go can we just no we can't survive there can we survive that oh, oh that's lucky uh, so now we can destroy this pillar this ugly pillar I've been using to get up for the past two days the sand trick. Where will we be without it? And done. So let's go look. I'm not sure if we should have um, put maybe like all the pillars like uh, like that. If we like maybe lower this one just to give it some elevation. It might look cool. But let's have a look from afar. Let's go back to these trees and have a look from here. I put the render distance down to to 10 because looking at this mountain in 10 chunks looks really cool because you see like the fog and it makes it have a cool oh, rain again I hear, I hear skellies but yeah if I turn it up to I think the server's on 12 chunks you see oh no maybe the server's on 16 chunks but yeah, if I turn it down to 10 you can see like in the distance it's foggy and that makes a really cool effect on these kind of mountains. Oh, oh no, everything's going wrong. Um, weather off. That looks alright. I reckon we could... No, if we lowered it, we'd have to lower it a whole one. Let's try that. It look, might look cool. You never know. Well, I almost died again while I was doing that. What? Is this an enderman? I didn't think anyone could pick up planks. Weird. But yeah, I, I lowered it, and let's have see how it looks. I'm completely out of food, yep. So I might have to go for a trip to the village and get some more potatoes and some chicken. Let's see how this looks. Yeah, that looks so much better. I haven't put torches on, so it's not lit up. But yeah, that looks really cool. Our nether portals in here, we can also... Um, with everyone, if they have nether portals around here, they're going to start screwing up. So I can easily remove that and we can have like a tunnel or like a rail system down to the ground. But yeah, that's how we enter my hanging place. Um, I'm going to check the time for this video. I have no idea how long I've been recording for. It's been another two days of filming. Um, but yeah, I'll see if we've 
gone on for long enough. If not, we'll, we'll probably go back to the Guardian farm and do a bit more progress on there. Oh god, what's happening? <laughs> okay. Wow, that was so weird. I'm not I'm not online anymore. Ah. Can we troll him? Are we actually here? Let's see. Oh yeah, sorry. Sorry guys about the mic. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Something went weird. But yeah, sorry guys for the mic quality for half the video. Um, when I turn my com oh no, when I turn my computer on today, I just opened fraps and started recording. And for some reason, it's never done this to me before, it just decided, hey, Schnix, you're using your webcam to record. <laughs> so yeah, um... And the sound's gone now. I don't know. Minecraft sounds are gone. Things are weird right now. But yeah. Um, webcam got half the episode. I've had a look back on the footage and I've compressed the audio and I've turned it up a crap ton so you guys can just hear me. But yeah, I switched back to my good mic now. And that's going to do it for today. Um, we got this done. Um, yeah. So... <laughs> Hope you guys enjoy, and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye. Have a good day.